Hi, this is Julie with Beetaholic, and today I want to show you how to make a knotted pearl necklace in a continuous strand where you don't actually have a clasp, you just have a knot between each of your pearls. We've had a couple of requests for this, so I wanted to take some time and show you actually how to do this. Uh, the more traditional way that you're probably familiar with is how to do a knotted pearl necklace with a clasp, and then you have these little clamshells that go over the last knot on each end, and then you can use those to attach a jump ring to or attach a clasp to. So we have another video showing you how to do that, but I do want to show you how to do it without having an end point to it where it's just a continuous strand. So to begin, you're going to need a pair of scissors. I'm going to show you how to do pearl knotting with tweezers, so you'll need a pair of tweezers. You're going to need some tape. You're going to need some pearls. I have two strands here that are about 15 and a half inches long each. So that is something important to keep in mind. If you are going to do this where you don't have a clasp, you'll need to make your necklace long enough to slip easily over your head. So you're probably looking at at least 26, 28 inches um, and maybe even a little bit longer than that just to be on the safe side. And then I have some Griffin silk and this is size four. And I am going to go with a little bit of a thinner size, which is a size four. It's not the thinnest, but it is a little bit on the thin side. And that's because I have to be able to go through my last pearl twice with this. And that's important to keep in mind because if your silk is thin enough to go through the pearl once, but too thick to go through it twice, it's not going to work for this application. So keep that in mind. So let's begin. Okay, you're going to take your Griffin silk off the card. Just unwind it. And if you're not familiar with Griffin Silk, it's a really nice quality thin silk braid, silk cord, and it has a needle that comes already attached. So go ahead, straighten out that needle. I just use my fingers. And then you're gonna to wanna to pre-stretch your cord. Mine has a little knot in the end, so I'm just going to take my tweezer, carefully get that knot out. There we go. Okay, so now I'm ready to begin. Now I'm going to start by taking a little piece of tape and putting it several inches, about five or six, from my tail. Now the first bead that I'm going to string on is going to be the one that I have to go through twice. So before I actually put it all the way onto my Griffin Silk, I'm going to look at my pearls and you'll notice they have slightly different sized holes. You can see like this one here is quite tiny, this one is a little bit bigger. And try to pick a bigger one, put it onto my needle, slide it down, and now I'm going to try to go back through it just to make sure that I can pass through this particular one twice. And that's feeling a little challenging. I'm going to see if I can find one with a bigger hole. Now, if you don't want to have to worry about this, you could pick a pretty decorative bead, like a bicone, or maybe a Bidel Pave crystal, or something really sparkly and decorative, and see if you want to use that as your first bead that you'll pass through and then do the rest with the pearls. Do not skip this first step, because you could end up at the very end and your necklace is not going to work. All right, I'm not happy with that one either. Now, if you have a bead reamer, you could go ahead and use it and make your hole a little bit larger, but I didn't wanna make you have to do that with this particular project. Actually, this hole looks pretty nice and big. I think we're gonna be fine. There we go, and that went through very easily. So just be patient, try a few. Make sure that you have one that works. Okay, so now I'm okay to slide this one all the way down to my tape. And now, from now on, I'm not gonna worry about the holes being too big. 
because I'm only going to have to pass through once. So I'm not going to create a knot right after that pearl. I'm just going to leave it. And I'm going to put another pearl onto my needle and slide it down. All right, now I'm going to create my first knot. To do so, I'm just going to create a simple overhand knot. Pull my silk all the way through. I'm going to put my tweezer through my, the middle of my knot and I'm going to grab the griffin silk right where it comes out from the bead. Now I'm just going to let my knot slide all the way down to my tweezers, remove my tweezers, and use them to scoot that knot down. I'm going to show you that a couple more times. Okay, string on a pearl. Slide it down. Make a simple overhand knot. Put your tweezers through the middle of the knot and grab the silk right where it comes out from the bead. There you go. Remove your tweezers, scoot the knot down, and add another bead. It's very traditional to do this method with pearls, but you can do it with all sorts of beads. A couple advantages. One, it really does protect the pearls from knocking against each other. And two, if your necklace ever does break, you're just going to lose that one pearl or that one bead. The others are all going to be knotted together. Okay. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and keep adding more pearls with a knot between each and then when I get to the end I'm going to come back and show you how to finish your knotted pearl necklace in a continuous strand with a knot between each and no clasp. So I've gone ahead and I've knotted all my pearls. I'm going to show you I have about a 30 inch necklace here. There we go. And that's going to easily slip over the head. And I love, if you haven't felt knotted pearls before, they feel so good. They've got a lot of flexibility to them because they're really jointed between each pearl. So they hang really nice and they drape beautifully. So I want to show you how to finish this off without having to use a clasp. So you'll remember, I have my piece of tape at this end and I have my two pearls, which are scooted together without a knot. Now, before I came back on the video, I ended up adding my last pearl and knotting right after it. And now I'm going to add one more pearl, just so you can see the process. All right, so knot, pearl, knot, pearl, knot, pearl, and then I've got pearl, no knot, pearl, and the piece of tape. So what I'm going to do at this time is I'm going to remove my piece of tape, I'm going to take my needle, Remember that important first step that we did? We made sure that my, your needle would go back through this pearl a second time. So there's no knot at the other end of this pearl either right now. Take your needle, go back through that first pearl you strung. You're going to pull your ends together. So I want you to see this as clearly as possible. See what's happening? So you crisscrossed your two tails in the middle of that first pearl you strung, and now you have three pearls together, and they don't have a knot between them. And what you're going to do with your tails now is you're going to create a knot between them. So I'm just going to loop, make a loop, go around the pearl like so, and come back through. You can see what I did. And I'm just going to pull. I'm going to push that down. And now I've got a knot between those two pearls. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And I don't need this much thread to work with anymore. So I'm just going to cut that off so I don't have to worry about it. So now what I want to do is I want to create a knot on this side. I'm going to create my loop. I'm going to go 
around that pearl, come back through, so up and under and through. You see, and now I'm just gonna pull it. I'm gonna pull tight. Okay, so now what you wanna do, take your scissors, trim it. You might wanna use a little bit of a sharper, point, more pointed scissor to do this, just so you don't have any little tail end sticking out. And then what I would recommend is I would take a little GS Hypo Cement and I would just put a little dab of glue right there over that knot and right there over that knot let it dry overnight and you're going to have a strand of pearls that's continuously knotted without a clasp.